Hi everyone, this is Trissy from Hillsboro Jewelry at Etsy.com and I'm going to teach the Byzantine weave today and you'll need around 90 10 millimeter 14 gauge jump rings. These I got from Fire Mountain. Um, I really like their supplies. You'll also need a lobster claw or any type of clasp and two 8 millimeter uh, jump rings and I believe these are 16 gauge and this is the start of the Byzantine weave and the Byzantine weave is simply a two and two weave which means that you are putting two rings on two rings and we'll get started I'm using blue and silver and I, I like using two different colors um, because you can see uh, the weave really really well so we're going to attach oh and you'll need um, I forgot you'll need two pliers and whenever I use colored uh, jump rings I use the plastic pliers you can also use coated pliers and then I use a regular plier and my trusty toothpick as always okay so to get started we'll pick up our um, lobster claw clasp and always always open the jump ring by pulling one side towards you and holding the other side and we just attach it whoops this one doesn't want to go well let's yikes we're stuck ah. let's try the other side there that went on. Okay, and then you just close it. And you'll need all your rings open. Okay, so we've had that. And then we're going to put two of the silver rings on the two of the 10 millimeter on the one uh, eight millimeter, like so. This is just to get it started. There we go. Okay. All right. So now we've got the two silver. So we're going to go with two blue. Put two blue on the two silver. Okay. And it's much easier to learn this weave doing uh, two different colors. Okay. Now we're going to do two more blue and whoops okay another another blue okay now here's where the weave actually starts okay so now you've got two silver and two and two blue you're going to push these back, get your toothpick, push those back, the last ones you did push back and open the ones that are furthest out and put your toothpick in like so. So it's like a little mouth like that. Okay, And then you're going to put your two silver you can take your toothpick out and put the silver in. So you're going in between. Okay. And another silver. Make sure nothing crosses and that everything um, is going through the same two jump rings. There we go. Okay, so now we have the start of our weave. Okay, so now we're going to do two blue. And you'll need twice as many blue as the silver because as you see, you're using four for every two. Whoops, 
There we go. Okay. So now, again, we're going to put two blue. And make sure that closure is nice and tight. And what I like about the Fire Mountain jump rings is the color is on the ends. Makes it look a lot nicer. Okay, so we, here we have our silver. We have our two blue and our two blue. So now you're going to push the last blue back to the side. Bring them in. Open the ones furthest out now. And put your toothpick through. And that's where you're going to put your next silver ones. Take the toothpick out and hold the Hold the weave, <clears throat> excuse me, okay, there we go, got it, okay, and this is a really great weave to start learning uh, jump ring techniques, it's a fairly easy weave, and just make sure you get it in the two, uh, the same two blue ones, there we go, okay, so here's, here's the start of your weave. Here's one that I made in gold and purple. Whoops. There we go. Gold and purple. And I also made um, a bracelet in gold with the gold twists in the green. I love this one. It's the 8 millimeter. This is a smaller one. Smaller... Um, millimeter but I highly recommend learning on the larger rings and then you just finish it off with a clasp and I put a few extra rings there and then I put a crystal on the end and thanks so much for watching this is Trissy at Hillsboro Jewelry at Etsy.com